Again? It's not what it looks like. Hey, I get it. You're bored. You're lonely. You can't afford a hooker. But come on, keep it in your room. Okay, in my defense, I wasn't expecting you home till later. Plus, it felt a little naughtier out here. <laughs> in public. You want naughty? Go yank it on the pitcher's mound at Dodger Stadium. Ooh, clever. <laughs> Seventh inning stretch. <laughs> I realize I now have to burn the couch. Well, if you're gonna do that, you might want to burn the deck chair, too. God, Alan. So how was your evening? Fine. I thought you were planning on bringing her back here. And yet you were twanging your magic clanger right in the middle of the living room. I lost track of time. Sue me. I'll tell you one thing, Charlie. I would give anything to find someone I enjoy being with who's close to my own age and, and who I can really connect with. Look no further, Alan. You found her. You do get me, don't you? You may be seated. <laughs> mm. Oh, we, we really shouldn't be doing this. Why not? They broke our hearts. Uh, yeah, but I'm kind of over it. I know it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, maybe we could go out for coffee first, or, or a movie. Alan, is this going to happen with you or without you? <laughs> with me, or... How does that work? The institution of marriage is not one to enter lightly. So we pause at this time to consider the depth of that commitment. Oh, Alan Harper, you animal! I can't believe you to let you go! You were masturbating to mariachi music in your car. Whoa, look who's getting busy. Hey. <laughs> Mr. Harper, we were just making out. Yeah, we all know what happens after making out. Making in and out. <laughs> Listen up, grasshoppers. You know how they say that marijuana leads to harder drugs? Well, the same thing applies to the human tongue. It leads to harder organs. <laughs> Now, if you are not careful, you're going to wake up one morning with a big-headed bun in the oven. No offense, Charlie Brown. I'm begging you. Please leave. Relax. I'm just looking out for you. Here, tell you what. Take the young lady out for a nice dinner. On me. It's a dollar. You're welcome. And it's not me. But there is a principle involved, and that is one of poaching another man's gal. Is that so? Yes, that's so. Now take a hike. <laughs> Why don't you just sit down and finish your peanuts? Uh, don't you touch me. <laughs> hey, hey, calm down. You're right. Huh? You're right. We should just uh, take a deep breath and calm down. It's a good idea. <laughs> so, what are you doing after Patsy here drops you off? <laughs> hey, Marcus? <laughs> How's that, bitch? <laughs> I I'm sorry, but uh, that's just the best I can do. Okay, well, let's try something else. This is called a bataka. It's heavily padded. It can't hurt anyone. But you can use it to vent your deep, angry feelings. You're wasting your time, Doc. He's too much of a whim. Attaboy, Alan! Let it go! Should I stop? Well, it's up to you. You paid for the full hour, so... Alan? In here! 
say? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we cool here? <laughs> yes. Relax. Surprise. I thought you were with your son go-karting. Yeah, uh, listen, um, I lied about that. But, you know, I, I, I can't lie anymore. I was with another woman, but all I could think about was you. I'm a one-woman man, and baby, you're that woman. Who is it, honey? Just a salesman. Go away. Wait, now, have you seen someone else? Get lost. But, but I, I, I thought we had something special. Well, who's in there? Are you married? Because I really thought that. Hi, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, jeez, Sippy, what are you doing with the pudding? <laughs> So I'll get you something else for your birthday. You like hookers? Charlie, we agreed you're out. Now stay out. All right, fine. I won't go. Thank you. Wait! If you don't come, she'll think I told you not to come. There is that possibility. That's your plan, isn't it? To, to make me look petty and insecure. Alan, I don't have to plan for that. Well, let me tell you something. You are coming with us to dinner tomorrow night, whether you like it or not. All right. Wait! I think we should take your new Mercedes. Fine. But I should drive it so that she thinks it's mine. Okay. Wait! She'll never believe I drive a Mercedes. You'll drive my old Volvo so that she thinks it's yours. Whatever. That just means you'll be sitting in the back seat alone. Wait! It's not what it looks like. <laughs>
I know, but if you do it tonight, then you won't have to worry about it. I'm not worried. <laughs> May I'm trying to teach you something here. Hey, I agreed to one. Jake, if you're finished with your dinner, why don't you get started on that homework? I'm still hungry. He ate all my fries. You can have some ice cream when you're done with your homework. Isn't that procrastinating? <laughs> so, dear. What? Do you see anything you like? I don't know. It's venison. Dear. What? Dear. What? Dear. D-E-E-R. What? W-H-A-T. <laughs> Hang on, Dad. Okay, go ahead. The lesson was... Oh, God, Jake! That's, that's awful! Yeah, I wish I could have saved that one for school. Hey, look who's here. Hey, Dad. Hey, are you going to kiss me goodbye? Apparently not. <laughs> Dad, are you marmalated? I'm sorry, what? Well, if you marry your cousin, your kids will be stupid, right? Wait till you see Vegas, Jake. There's action everywhere you look. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. How does that help me? I can't gamble and I have to be in bed at 9.30. Hey, come on, Jake. It's time to get up for school. I can't go to school. I'm sick. What's wrong? I think I have acid reflux disease. Okay, let's go. You got my lunch? Lunch? You're supposed to make me lunch. Oh, crap. This isn't helping my stress level. <laughs> I forget, why are you here in the middle of the week? Because my mom's on vacation. From what? <laughs> me. I can't believe you forgot me. I said, I'm sorry. You forgot me. I know, I feel terrible. How many kids you got? No, 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 no. I'll do it. That's spit. One man's saliva is another man's moose. Now shut up. <laughs> Have a good day. Learn something. This isn't my school. What do you mean? I mean, I don't go to school here. <laughs> don't forget to clean on the outside. That's all you. <laughs> and the floor and the wall. Okay, okay. How did you hit the wall, anyway? I don't know. It just gets away from me sometimes. So they've got you working in the kitchen? Yeah, we call it the mess. That corn's not gonna cream itself, Harper! Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, gotta go back to work defending our nation against terrorists and whatnot. Missy still sleeping? Nah, she's in the shower. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> If you'll excuse me, I'm gonna take her some breakfast. As you can imagine, we worked up quite the appetite. Right? And when I say worked up an appetite, you understand. I got it, I got it. Let me ask you something, Jake. Knowing what you know now and feeling how you feel now, would you have done anything differently? No. I just would have done it a few more times. How's the army treating you? How'd you know I was in the army? Because I've been spying on you guys. What? I'm just kidding. You're wearing a uniform, silly. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Jake, I am so proud of you. Yeah, they gave me my own blowtorch, you know, to caramelize the sugar. Check it out. <laughs> Not again. Gotta go, Dad. So, uh, Jake, you want to go to your bedroom and unpack? Uh, that's okay. I don't really have much. Well, then, maybe you could help me unpack. What? Dude, she's not really talking about unpacking. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah. I could definitely go for a good unpacking. Well, then, come on. Jake? Not now, Dad. The military police were at the door looking for you. 
What'd you tell him? I told him you weren't here. Oh, thanks. See you at dinner. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Jake? AWOL? Come on, it's not that big a deal. <laughs> you could go to jail! Really? That seems a little extreme. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, Deb. Uh, well, this is a nice surprise. W what's going on? Um, I heard from Eldridge that you and his mom broke up, so I'm just checking in, see how you're doing. That is really sweet of you, Jake, to be concerned about your old man. Well, I love you, Dad. I want you to be happy. Thank you. And, you know, you've always been there for me. Now I get to be here for you. That's true. <laughs> Speaking of which... How much? <laughs> I'm not going to be able to make it home this year. What? Why? My girlfriend, Tammy Sue, asked me to spend Christmas with her and her three kids. I'm pretending to be Santa, and also their various fathers. Oh. How did you meet this woman? I play softball with her parole officer. Well, please tell me it's not the 35-year-old single mother with the two kids. No, Tammy's 36, and she has three kids. Jake, she's almost twice your age. No, she's not. I'm 19. Jeez, do the math. <laughs> you don't even know her. Let me ask you this question. If you've never tasted a strawberry ice cream cone in your life, how do you know what it tastes like? What? Well, my point is, you've never licked Tammy. Nope, but it's in the third fastest runner in my class. Cool. Spring break's over. Back to work. Later, Stud. Boy, she smells good. And why was Uncle Charlie kissing Rose? Well, that, that was the... And what are pheromones? Oh, that one I know, and, and it's pronounced Whoa. pheromones. It... Never mind. You want another goofy juice? Aren't you the sweetest? T, this is Freddie, my fiancé. You're marrying him? Uh-huh. Freddie, this is Jake. So. Oh, well, before I forget, you got plans for tomorrow night? No. Make some. I'm gonna need the house to myself. Fine. Don't you want to know why? Uh, Jake, if you're done, you can go to your room and start your homework. Oh, this is about sex, right? <laughs> Jake! Jake, go to your room. If you want to talk about sex, why don't you go to your room? <laughs> so you didn't bring me anything? Oh, is that all Grandmommy is good for? To bring you gifts? Of course I brought you something. There. Crayons? I'm ten. <laughs> well, it's not just crayons, sweetheart. It's also a dinosaur coloring book. But I'm ten. <laughs> You want to trade? No, I'm good. Okay, you're gonna feel a little sting. Nobody said I had to get a shot. It's just to numb your skin so you won't feel the stitches. What are you gonna give me not feel a shot? It's all right, pal. I'm right here with you. Big deal, I'm still gonna get a shot in my head. Come on, just hold my hand, look me in the eyes. Go ahead, Doc. Ow, ow, ow! Hey, hey, go easy on the kid. No, you're squishing my hand. Now, open Grandmummy's present. Clothes? Happy birthday. Thanks a lot, but clothes? Not clothes, darling. It's Calvin Klein. No, it's clothes. The parental code that unlocks the pay channels is 1234. 1234. One, Should have known. <laughs> Believe me, sweetheart, the girls are gonna love you in this. What girls? All right, the other boys will be envious. The other boys will beat me up. You have a girlfriend yet? No, I'm a bachelor like my Uncle Charlie. So you're never gonna get married? No, as long as I got someone to clean my house and some action on a regular basis, I don't need a wife. I heard Mom say the reason Uncle Charlie gets into so much trouble is because he thinks with his little head. <laughs> it's not that little. What do men have that women don't? Beards. Lower. Beards. Well, Jay, your Uncle Charlie is getting a vasectomy. 
What's wrong with the car you have now? Keep going. You're doing great. Uh, Jake, it's not exactly the same with people as with dogs. I know. Why don't you just use a condom? I just want you all to know that Charlie didn't suffer. His body just exploded like a balloon full of meat. <laughs> Hungry. Anyone else hungry? <sighs> okay, Walden Schmidt. It is time to start your new life as a single man in Melville. Hello? <laughs> Dad? I also told him there was no way he could sleep over. Why not? You wouldn't mind? Why would I mind? Hey. No reason. He's a great kid. Ow. I'm sorry. I just think we need to establish some boundaries. Hey, don't make hitting your deal. <laughs> that, that was the air mattress. Okay. That was me. <laughs> Yay! Hey, Courtney. Jake! Oh, it's so good to see you. You too. Oh, you've grown. No, it's just my cell phone. <laughs> Jake, what are you doing here? I just, uh... Came by to... What? I took a huge dump. That was that was great. Just just great. Thank you so much. Dad? Right here. Oh hey. Something's different. <laughs> cool. So remember Megan? Oh yeah, it was uh, your little girlfriend. Uh, she seems like a great gal. Well, I'm glad you like her, because she's kind of pregnant. Kinda? She's not showing yet. She's still in her first semester. Oh, my God. How, how did this happen? I mean, what about our talks about uh, sexual responsibility and, and, and using protection? I could explain that. Go ahead. I was drunk. <laughs> the reason I called a family meeting is because uh, Jake and Megan have some news. Oh my god, she's pregnant. Well, that was easy. Who wants cake? Man, I've seen so much crazy stuff in this house, I could write a book. That's a good idea. Got a title? Hmm. Maybe I can't write a book. <laughs> Me and Eldridge were thinking it would be cool if we were brothers so that we could switch places to fool people. That only works if you're twins, Jake. How do you know for sure I'm Jake? <laughs> my name's Jake. Hi, Jake. My friends call me Jake. So, Jennifer, how old are you? 24. How old are you? I'm 24 and a half. <laughs> hmm? No, seriously, dude, no lie. All right, fine. You don't believe me? Here. Yep, five times. Best half hour of my life. <laughs> Guess what? While you're in the hospital, I aced all my final exams. Really? I don't believe it. I told you he wouldn't buy it. Come on, you lazy puke! Move it, move it, move it! When do we start flying the robot planes? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe after lunch. <laughs> no, we're going on a five-mile run after lunch. Oh, I'm gonna skip that. I want to take a nap. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. When? Later. Fifty bucks and it goes away. Ten. Done. Love you, Uncle Charlie. Back at you. Hey, Dad? Yeah? 
Even though Mom stopped loving you and Candy stopped loving you, you don't have to worry about me. Thanks, pal. You're my dad. I pretty much gotta love you. <laughs> hey, Uncle Charlie, guess where I'm finally growing hair? <laughs> Come on, man, I'm eating. Right here. I'm growing a stash. Oh, yeah. Hey, cool hat. Whose is it? Yours. <laughs> really? Yeah. It looks great with the stash. You didn't call her. Yeah, so? So, you know why I think you didn't call her? You didn't call her because the whole, I don't want to throw my brother out on the street business is that's what I think. That's what you think. You heard me, that's what I think. Yeah, well, think again. For nothing. There's pie. <laughs> Who is this vodka knockers that you speak of? Eat your dinner. The name's Knockers. Vaughn Knockers. Dad says you got your butt in your lips. Just eat your dinner. Hang on. So if you burp now, it'd really be a fart, right? Hey, Dad, how come you don't give me an allowance? Because your mother gives you an allowance. Look, I am just trying to be fair here. Speaking of fair, it doesn't seem fair that Mom has to pay me and you don't. Hang on, Candy. Let me explain something to you. Every cent your mother has comes from me. So when she gives you allowance, it's really me giving you allowance. I don't need to know how it works. I just need more money. <laughs> Hi there. I like you very much. Please don't do that. Do what? I'm just being nice. Oh, big boy. I'll need a sports bra. Uncle Charlie and I both had dreams about eating. Mine was with donuts, his was something dirty. Come on, please. Oh, all right. <laughs> no, no, not that way. Slow down. I'm still awake. Okay, I gotta go if I'm gonna catch my bus. Good night, Berto. Hey, Dad, guess what I found in Mom's bedroom? An empty can of whipped cream. Whipped cream? No kidding. Yep, and you know what I'm thinking? What? Either whipped cream has something to do with sex, or Mom hides pie in her nightstand, too. What's going on? Rose is moving to London. She is? Why? Because Uncle Charlie's a pud. So do you have a PlayStation or an Xbox? I have a cello. <laughs> what do you play on that? Beethoven, Brahms, Bach, Shostakovich. So, no Grand Theft Auto? What, uh, what prompted you to redecorate like this? I don't know, I like cars and wrestling. And wet t-shirts, apparently. Oh, there is a wet t-shirt in that. I hadn't noticed. Oh, come on. We had an adventure. Dad? Yeah, buddy? Fight me. I'm Harry Potter. <laughs> they like each other. I'm well, sure they like each other. No, I mean they like like each other. <laughs> oh no, Jake. Uh, your Uncle Charlie only like likes a, a certain type of woman. Mom calls them tramps. <laughs> it just sucks. It's just for a couple of days till the wedding. Yeah, but why does she have to stay in my room? Because, I don't know, you're the kid. Yeah, well, it's not fair. Yeah, we'll get over it. Oh, my God! Jake, it's disgusting! Yeah, we'll get over it. Why can't I sleep in my bed? Aunt Myra's not there. I'm sure she will be. She's probably just getting something in the kitchen. That's not the kitchen. <laughs> Jake? Hey, gotta hit the crapper. I want to ask you a question. Crumb cake, a frappuccino, and a burrito supreme. That's not the question. Oh, yeah, and a tangerine. That's what killed me. Are you done? I hope so, because the toilet won't flush anymore. Jake, how do you like high school? I'm in eighth grade. I see.
When do you start high school? Hard to say. Eighth grade is really kicking my ass. Jake, language? Yeah, language, math. I begged you for years to let me turn that into a game room. Bumper pool, ping pong, something. Well, this is different. How? Herb can play with his trains alone. <laughs> I'm sure he does plenty of stuff in there alone. Excuse me? Nothing. I got it. So where's your friend? Gabe, he ditched me when I started throwing up, the bat rastard. <laughs> You know, your body is sending you a message. Yeah, it's saying I should really chew my food more. Okay, well, thanks for the update. Nice seeing you. Move, move, move. You ruined my life, Charlie Harper! Righto, bye. Hey, we didn't put for the job shirt. Just keep walking. How can you live with yourself, you horrible, evil man? He drinks. Good for you. That's a good start. Yeah, it was. You make learning fun. <laughs> Where are you going? Take a shower. <laughs> Jake, I have wonderful news. From now on, as part of each lesson, we're going to spend time casting demons out of you. It's the devil that's making him stupid. <laughs> Told you it wasn't my fault. <laughs> hey, Dan. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, all finished in the bathroom? <laughs> For now. You should have seen the last one. It looked like a question mark. <laughs> Let's talk about this later. Oh, please. Chowderhead can't hear us. Right, Chowderhead? See? Look, uh, tell you what, well, why don't I take you and Jake out to dinner tonight? Can we get chili burgers? Charlie, you home? <laughs> Charlie? Hello? <laughs> Didn't you hear me? Didn't you see me trying to hide? out on the stairs. Really? Oh, well, that's not good. Yeah, hi. I'm watching your commercial, Cash for Gold. You just showed a woman selling her wedding ring for $500. Yeah, no, I don't want to sell gold. I want to meet that woman. She's hot. We know her marriage isn't working out. Hey. Call you back. Remember when you set us up with those two hot soap opera actresses and then we both got the flu? <laughs> soap opera actresses. No, then ring a bell. <laughs> Drive carefully. Oh, come on. Um, uh, how about when you found me handcuffed to my bed wearing a bustier and fishnet stockings? <laughs> Sorry, blanking on that too. Well, yeah, but you, but you gotta remember Alan, when we did that. Alan, Alan, let me save you some trouble. My past is divided between things I can't remember and things I don't want to remember. And you're both. <laughs> All right, so I uh, guess I'll call you. Yeah. Make sure you leave a message. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I'm going to miss. The, the banter, the good-natured ribbing. The... <sighs> you know, you, you, you have to admit, this is a, a very curious turn of events. I mean, seven years ago, I arrived on this very doorstep heartbroken and alone, and you had chicks coming out the kazoo. <laughs> now look at us. The student has become the master. <laughs> Arigato, sensei. Ow! You're welcome, grasshopper. Hello, everyone. Hope you all slept well. If there's anything I can do to make you stay here more comfortable, please be sure to tell me. Thank you, Charlie. That is uh, so sweet. He doesn't mean it. Hey, Uncle Charlie? Yeah. You miss me? <laughs> he missed me. Hey, Alan, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Nothing. Right. Having a little me time. I hope you don't mind. I used your toothbrush. 
No problem. Where'd you use it? <laughs> Nowhere your mouth hasn't been. You are so beautiful. Oh, thank you. Your, 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 your hair, your, your, your eyes are just amazing. Charlie. And this body, it's just, it's perfect. Thank you. So, why don't I want to have sex with you anymore? You don't? I'm sorry. No, 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 it's okay. I don't want to have sex with you either. So, we're all good? Absolutely. All right, I'll go get dressed. <laughs> Didn't seem to be any point. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger. Oh, who am I kidding? I love you all. Two of us sneaking around so we can spend an hour together. Well, what can I do? I have a husband. Let's go away for the weekend. Just the two of us. Where? I don't care. Some place where we can... Walk down the street holding hands where we can laugh together, play together, yell at the top of our lungs and not care who hears us. So Disneyland? Uh, I was thinking more in terms of someplace with liquor, but... That's Manny's car. I didn't hear anything. It's a Prius. Just think about it, okay? A romantic weekend with nothing for us to do but make love and be together. And, you know, drink. Oh. Hello, Charlie. Yeah, listen, I've been thinking. Why don't you take a Beano and come back to the house and join the group? Oh, really? What, uh, what changed your mind? I had a small stroke. What difference does it make? Just get your ass back here. Tequila? Checkbook? Sourpuss? Must be alimony time. No way, Charlie. Boy, you'd think for all that money, she'd at least come over and give me a lap dance. Hey, I just realized. Your name is Al, and you're sending your ex-wife money, so it's Al M money. You know, I'm not going to be around forever, and the time will come when you'll regret ignoring me. Shh. Now, this one's called Read Between the Lines. You're given the finger, but you've got plausible deniability. Cool, like the itchy eye. Exactly. Now this one's called the slow crank. Charlie? Uh, Jake? Yes? I'll bring him up. Yeah, and then we'd have found your body days later, washed up on the dish rack. Hello, Alan. If you want to see Jake, he's taking a bath. Oh, actually, as much as I'd love to spend time with my grandson, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Charlie, need to borrow your Mercedes. Well, since you're in a hurry, I'll give you a quick answer. No. You sleep? What? No. Oh, you? Listen, I have to get up early tomorrow, so... You want me to leave? Do you mind? No, I'm cool either way. Stay or go. So I'm going? Was everything okay? No, it was perfect, Stefan. Thank you. Always good to see you. I liked it, too. There's nothing you can do. The damage has been done. Can't be undone. Come on. I'm your brother. You're gonna forgive me eventually. You always do. No, no. This is different. This is the worst thing you have ever done to me. No, it's not. What do you mean? Ah, uh, just making conversation. The point is, it's just dinner. You'll go, you'll bore her to death, you'll come home. Yeah, I know, but I want to look good while I'm doing it. You look fine, just relax, be yourself. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, uh, uh, you think I should bring some condoms? Why? Uh... 
Is there anything I can do for you now? Well, I gotta pee. <laughs> yeah, so? So, I can't undo my pants or anything. Where are we headed with this, Alan? Uh, you said you'd help me. I was thinking more like I could make you a sandwich. Uh, Charlie! Where are you going? To the bathroom. Now come on and unzip me. Just like that, right to it. No dinner, no movie. Charlie! Coming! About that. Do you need to get it? Nah, the machine will pick up. Hey, it's Charlie. Do your thing when you hear the beep. Charlie. I need your help. I'll oh, pick up, pick up, pick up. Oh, for God's sake. See? It's just one woman. I've been seeing the same woman for several weeks now. I see. You've been playing it slow. Yes. And by slow, I mean gay. I can't talk to you about this. Alan, you hook a fish and play it too long. You know what you're going to finally have when you reel it in? What? A tired fish that thinks you're gay. Do you drink while you're babysitting my son? Not at first, but he wears me down. What are you doing here? Isn't this your day off? It is, but your brother invited me to be your house guest for a couple of days. Did he now? Well, I was going to ask you, but Alan said he could speak for both of you. Did he now? You got a problem with that? Silly, you're like family. Yeah, well, I've seen how you treat family. <laughs> and you're always welcome here. You don't even have to ask. Morning, Alan. Hey, look who finally... Ow! Well, I also have a job. Call in sick? I did it yesterday. Okay, call in horny. I'll write you a note. I wish I could. I love being with you. Me too. <laughs> and having you here just makes it all the better. <laughs> You know, we've been seeing each other for over two months now, and you've never spent the night at my place. Okay, well, go clean up the dead animals, and I'll come over tonight. <laughs> Deal. I'll cook you dinner. Great. I think I love you, Charlie Harper. Thank you. Such a beautiful sunset. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks? You're taking credit for the sunset? Well, no, not, not, not the sunset per se, but I did buy a very expensive house on the beach so we can stand here and watch the sunset. So, thanks. <laughs> Morning, baby. Hey. <clears throat> you don't like it, don't watch. Did you really think that you could just end this? I was kind of hoping. Don't you realize that our souls are now bound together, destined to writhe ecstatically in blessed hellfire for all eternity? Boy, I know how to pick them, don't I? Mom wants to ask you something. Hi, Mom. No! Reward without effort is meaningless. Uh, money alone will not give you fulfillment. What about Uncle Charlie? He seems pretty fulfilled, and he doesn't do anything. Hey, hey, let me tell you about your Uncle Charlie. He puts on a happy face, but on the inside, he is a, a sad, lonely man. <laughs> I want to go see Jake. Why? He's at a sleepover. I just got this feeling that he needs me. You mean like some sort of telepathic thing? Exactly. I see. Ow! Did you know I was going to do that? No! Then I wouldn't trust your psychic powers. <sighs> okay, fine. You want to see the kid? We'll go see the kid. Thank you. Is that so hard? Charlie, the, the, the road. Char Please. Charlie, talk.
talk to me. All right. You know what I'm gonna do to you, you dirty, filthy girl? No, not like that. Wrong way? Am I a dirty, filthy boy? No, I want to talk about us. We're a dirty, filthy couple. Good morning. Oh, hey, how's your run? Great. We made it all the way to the pier and back. Didn't we, honey? Yeah. Pier. Back. Hey, Jake, you ever seen anybody cough up blood? No. Then pay attention. Ass. Ass? Kiss. My. Sweaty. Don't play innocent with me. I can see the hurt in your eyes. What? You have to let me go, Charlie. Okay. I'm with Gordon now. I've moved on. Good. Charlie, I can't bear to see you like this. Like what? I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to give you one last chance. One last chance for what? You're going to make me say it, aren't you? Say what? Listen closely. Once I go, I'm gone. Really? I've never seen that side of you. Okay, now. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Morning. Morning. Morning, Charlie. Need any help? You know how to get a 1981 Plymouth Duster moving? Yeah. Yank out the A-track and push it off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> You're useless. Hey, you got a little grease on your face. Where? Cheek. Huh. Get? No, other side. No? A little on your forehead. Yeah. Perfect. Now sing Swanee River. How big a difference are we talking about? It's huge. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. With you, sex is kind of like going on Space Mountain. It's a good ride, but there's never any real danger. With Alan, it's like being in the back seat of a car driven by a really smart kangaroo. He may go up on the curb a couple times, but he'll get you there. Okay. Thanks for clearing that up. I'll get it. There's a two-hour wait for Space Mountain. And Jake, knowing what you know now and feeling how you feel now, would you have done anything differently? No. I just would have done it a few more times. How's the army treating you? How'd you know I was in the army? Because I've been spying on you guys. What? I'm just kidding. You're wearing a uniform, silly. Oh, yeah, right. Jake, I am so proud of you. Yeah, they gave me my own blowtorch, you know, to caramelize the sugar. Check it out. <laughs> Not again. Gotta go, Dad. So, uh, Jake, you wanna go to your bedroom and unpack? Uh, that's okay. I don't really have much. <laughs> well, then, maybe you could help me unpack. What? <laughs> She's not really talking about unpacking. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah. I could definitely go for a good unpacking. Well, then come on. Jake? Not now, Dad. The military police were at the door looking for you. What'd you tell them? I told them you weren't here. Oh, thanks. See you at dinner. Are you kidding me, Jake? AWOL? Come on, it's not that big a deal. You could go to jail. Really? That seems a little extreme. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, Deb. Uh, well, this is a nice surprise. W what's going on? Um, I heard from Eldridge that you and his mom broke up, so I'm just checking in, see how you're doing. Oh, that is really sweet of you, Jake, to be concerned about your old man. Well, I love you, Dad. I want you to be happy. Thank you. And, you know, you've always been there for me. Now I get to be here for you. That's true. <laughs> Speaking of which... How much? I'm not going to be able to make it home this year. What? Why? My girlfriend, Tammy Sue, asked me to spend Christmas with her and her three kids. I'm pretending to be Santa, and also their various fathers. Oh. 
H how did you meet this woman? I play softball with her parole officer. <laughs> Please tell me it's not the 35-year-old single mother with the two kids. No, Cammy's 36 and she has three kids. <laughs> Jake, she's almost twice your age. No, she's not. I'm 19. Jeez, do the math. <laughs> you don't even know her. Let me ask you this question. If you've never tasted a strawberry ice cream cone in your life, how do you know what it tastes like? What? My point is, you've never licked Tammy. Nope, but it's in the third fastest runner in my class. Cool. Spring break's over. Back to work. Later, Stud. Boy, she smells good. Did Why it? was Uncle Charlie kissing Rose? Well, that, that was the... And what are pheromones? Oh, that one I know, and, and it's pronounced Whoa. pheromones. It... <laughs> never mind. Goofy juice? Aren't you the sweetest? <laughs> T, this is Freddie, my fiance. You're marrying him? <laughs> uh huh. Freddie, this is Jake. So. Oh, well, before I forget, you got plans for tomorrow night? No. Make some. I'm gonna need the house to myself. Fine. Don't you want to know why? Uh, Jake, if you're done, you can go to your room and start your homework. Oh, this is about sex, right? <laughs> Jake, Jake, go to your room. If you want to talk about sex, why don't you go to your room? <laughs> so you didn't bring me anything? Oh, is that all Grandmommy is good for, to bring you gifts? Of course I brought you something. There. Crayons? I'm ten. Well, it's not just crayons, sweetheart. It's also a dinosaur coloring book. But I'm ten. You want to trade? No, I'm good. Okay, you're going to feel a little sting. Nobody said I had to get a shot. It's just to numb your skin so you won't feel the stitches. What are you going to give me not feel a shot? It's all right, pal. I'm right here with you. Big deal, I'm still gonna get a shot in my head. Come on. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Alan, again? It's not what it looks like. Hey, I get it. You're bored, you're lonely, you can't afford a hooker. But come on, keep it in your room. Okay, in my defense, I wasn't expecting you home till later. Plus, it felt a little naughtier out here. In public. You want naughty? Go yanking on the pitcher's mound at Dodger Stadium. Ooh, clever. <laughs> Seventh inning stretch. <laughs> I realize I now have to burn the couch. Well, if you're going to do that, you might want to burn the deck chair, too. God, Alan. So how was your evening? Fine. I thought you were planning on bringing her back here. And yet you were twanging your magic clanger right in the middle of the living room. I lost track of time. Sue me. I'll tell you one thing, Charlie. I would give anything to find someone I enjoy being with who's close to my own age and, and who I can really connect with. Look no further, Alan. You found her. <laughs> you do get me, don't you? You may be seated. Oh, we, we really shouldn't be doing this. Why not? They broke our hearts. Uh, yeah, but I'm kind of over it. I'm not. Mm. Mm. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, maybe we could go out for coffee first, or, or a movie. Alan, is this going to happen with you or without you? With me or... How's that work? The institution of marriage is not one to enter lightly. So we pause at this time to consider the depth of that commitment. Oh, Alan Harper, you animal! I can't believe you to let you go! Oh, God, Alan Harper! Oh, God! Oh, don't stop, Alan Harper! Please don't stop! Oh, Alan Harper, I feel like a woman again! I'm Alan Harper, and I'm not having sex! Like. Well, that's 
a relief, because it looks like you were masturbating to mariachi music in your car. Whoa, look who's getting busy. Hey. <laughs> Mr. Harper, we were just making out. Yeah, we all know what happens after making out. Making in and out. <laughs> Listen up, grasshoppers. You know how they say that marijuana leads to harder drugs? Well, the same thing applies to the human tongue. It leads to harder organs. <laughs> now, if you are not careful, you're going to wake up one morning with a big-headed bun in the oven. No offense, Charlie Brown. I'm begging you. Please leave. Relax. I'm just looking out for you. Here, tell you what. Take the young lady out for a nice dinner. On me. It's a dollar. You're welcome. And it's not me. But there is a principle involved, and that is one of poaching another man's gal. Is that so? Yes, that's so. Now take a hike. Why don't you just sit down and finish your peanuts? Don't you touch me. <laughs> hey, hey, calm down. You're right. Huh? You're right. We should just uh, take a deep breath. And calm down. It's a good idea. <laughs> so, what are you doing after Potsy here drops you off? <laughs> hey, Marcus? <laughs> How's that, bitch? <laughs> I I'm sorry, but uh, that's just the best I can do. Okay, well, let's try something else. This is called a bataka. It's heavily padded. It can't hurt anyone. But you can use it to vent your deep, angry feelings. You're wasting your time, Doc. He's too much of a whim. And a boy, Alan! Let it go! Come on! Come on! Just hold my hand, look me in the eyes. Go ahead, Doc. Ow, ow, ow! Hey, hey, go easy on the kid. No, you're squishing my hand. Now, open Grandmummy's present. Close? Happy birthday. Thanks a lot, but. Clothes? Not clothes, darling. It's Calvin Klein. No, it's clothes. The parental code that unlocks the pay channels is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Should have known. Baby, sweetheart, the girls are gonna love you in this. What girls? All right, the other boys will be envious. The other boys will beat me up. You have a girlfriend yet? No, I'm a bachelor like my uncle Charlie. So you're never gonna get married? No, as long as I got someone to clean my house and some action on a regular basis, I don't need a wife. I heard mom say the reason Uncle Charlie gets into so much trouble is because he thinks with his little head. <laughs> it's not that little. What do men have that women don't? Beards. Lower. Weird. Well, Jay, your Uncle Charlie is getting a vasectomy. Oh. What's wrong with the car you have now? Keep going. You're doing great. Uh, Jake, it's not exactly the same with people as with dogs. Why don't you just use a condom? I just want you all to know that Charlie didn't suffer. His body just exploded like a balloon full of meat. Thank you. I'm hungry. Anyone else hungry? <sighs> okay, Walden Schmidt. It's time to start your new life as a single man in Mel. Hello? <laughs> Dad? I also told him there was no way he could sleep over. Why not? You wouldn't mind? Why would I mind? <laughs> hey. No reason, he's a great kid. I'm sorry. I just think we need to establish some boundaries. Hey, don't make hitting your deal. <laughs> that, that was the air mattress. Okay. <laughs> that
that was me. Oh, yay. Hey, Courtney. Jake! Oh, it's so good to see you. You too. Oh, you've grown. No, it's just my cell phone. <laughs> Dave, what are you doing here? I just, uh... Came by to... What? <laughs> what? I took a huge dump. That was... That was great. Just, just great. Thank you so much. Dad? Right here. Go okay. ahead. Something's different. Cool. So, remember Megan? Oh, yeah, it was uh, your little girlfriend. Uh, she seems like a great gal. Well, I'm glad you like her, because she's kind of pregnant. Kinda? She's not showing yet. She's still in her first semester. Oh, my God. How, how did this happen? I mean, what about our talks about uh, sexual responsibility and, and, and using protection? I can explain that. Go ahead. I was drunk. I don't get it. Okay, apparently it is on. Oh, this is awesome. Now, you see how careful you have to be? Uh-huh. And how much closer we are to the dumpsters? The wheel slightly to the left and very gently press down on... <laughs> Do you have any homework this weekend? A little. Why don't you get started on it tonight? But it's only Friday. I know, but if you do it tonight, then you won't have to worry about it. I'm not worried. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm trying to teach you something here. Hey, I agreed to one. Jake, if you're finished with your dinner, why don't you get started on that homework? I'm still hungry. He ate all my fries. You can have some ice cream when you're done with your homework. Isn't that procrastinating? So, dear. What? Do you see anything you like? I don't know. It's venison. Dear. What? Dear. Deer. D-E-E-R. What? W-H-A-T. <laughs> Hang on, it... Dad. Okay, go ahead. The lesson was... Oh, God, Jake! <laughs> that's, that's awful! Yeah, I wish you could have saved that one for school. Hey, look who's here. Hey, Dad. Hey, are you gonna kiss me goodbye? Apparently not. <laughs> Dad, are you marmalated? I'm sorry, what? Well, if you marry your cousin, your kids will be stupid, right? Wait till you see Vegas, Jake. There's action everywhere you look. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. How does that help me? I can't gamble and I have to be in bed at 9.30. Come on, Jake. It's time to get up for school. I can't go to school. I'm sick. What's wrong? I think I have acid reflux disease. Okay, let's go. You got my lunch? Lunch? You're supposed to make me lunch. Oh, crap. This isn't helping my stress level. I forget. Why are you here in the middle of the week? Because my mom's on vacation. From what? Me. I can't believe you forgot me. I said, I'm sorry. You forgot me. I know, I feel terrible. How many kids you got? <laughs> Get out! I forgot to cut my hair. No, 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 no. I'll do it. Spit! One man's saliva is another man's moose. Now shut up. 
Have a good day. Learn something. This isn't my school. What do you mean? I mean, I don't go to school here. Don't forget to clean on the outside. That's all you. And the floor and the wall. Okay, okay. How the hell did you hit the wall anyway? I don't know. It just gets away from me sometimes. So they've got you working in the kitchen? Yeah, we call it the mess. That corn's not going to cream itself, Harper. Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, gotta go back to work defending our nation against terrorists and whatnot. Missy's still sleeping? Nah, she's in the shower. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna take her some breakfast. As you can imagine, we worked up quite the appetite. <laughs> right? And when I say worked up an appetite, you understand. I got it, I got it. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Ow! Oh, man! Ow! Oh, man! Oh, man! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! Who do you hate, Alan? Who do you hate? Everybody! Come on! Let it go! Keep going, Alan! Wait a minute! Stop! Should I stop? Well, it's up to you. You paid for the full hour, so... <laughs> Ow! Alan? In here! <laughs> Say? Yes! We cool here? <laughs> yes. Relax. Alan. Surprise. <laughs> I thought you were with your son go-karting. Yeah, uh, listen, um, I lied about that. But, you know, I, I, I can't lie anymore. I was with another woman, but all I could think about was you. I'm a one-woman man, and baby, you're that woman. Who is it, honey? Just a salesman. Go away. Wait, now, you've seen someone else? Get lost. But, but I, I, I thought we had something special. But who's in there? Are you married? Because I really thought that. Hi, oh. with a pudding. So I'll get you something else for your birthday. You like hookers? Charlie, we agreed you're out. Now stay out. All right, fine. I won't go. Thank you. Wait! If you don't come, she'll think I told you not to come. There is that possibility. That's your plan, isn't it? To, to make me look petty and insecure. Alan, I don't have to plan for that. Well, let me tell you something. You are coming with us to dinner tomorrow night, whether you like it or not. All right. Wait! <laughs> I think we should take your new Mercedes. Fine. But I should drive it so that she thinks it's mine. Okay. Wait! <laughs> She'll never believe I drive a Mercedes. <laughs> You'll drive my old Volvo so that she thinks it's yours. Whatever. That just means you'll be sitting in the back seat alone. Wait! <laughs> hey, 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 whoa, whoa, it's not what it looks like. <laughs>
Pleasure doing business with you. Hey, Dad, check this out. You can pick your friends, you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. You know who told me that? I can guess. Uncle Charlie, and you know why it's funny? Because it's true. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Dad. What? How come only one finger is the bad finger? Uh, I, I don't know, Jake. This one's okay, right? Right. Dad? What? Anything? 